make sure that if any updates are made to the page outside of this component, those happen. And we just need one event to be able to propagate the change, right? So we can use another special uh, function called component will receive props. I think that's it. <laughs> Let me look this up. Component uh, react.js component will uh, component props will update. Something like that. I'll, I'll find it. I will find it. There's another special method that you can use to do this. So you can hook into when the properties of the components are updated and then update any state or appearance that you need to do. Prop types will receive props. That's it. Component. What did I have? Composer with receive props. Composer with receive props, or if you want to be correct about it, component will receive props. This set state. And now we can move this stuff down. And we can just have this as an empty option because it'll receive props initially, right? Let's see if this works. It's like a, it's like a, it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory going on here. Nope, that didn't work. Sure, sure. Oh wait, this gets a, this gets a. Ah, there we go. Props. This gets an argument, right? So maybe this will work. Uh, not that one. That one. Andrew Cairns. Yes. That is the aerosol I'll be using. Yes. <laughs> totally composed, man. Oh, come back here. Edit. Nope. Okay. Not the end of the world. We can... Duplicate some code. There we go. I wonder if we can get rid of all this state. I wonder if we can do that. Let's comment that out. Let's comment that out. And instead of this state, let's use props here. Maybe we can do that and avoid all the internal state and all having and having to know about these special functions. That would be the best. The less internal state it has to manage, the better. It totally works. Why am I messing around with all this state nonsense? Okay, delete. If my wasting your last ten minutes has taught you anything, it's that less state is better. <laughs> so we can just use the props for this and update from the back end. Okay, so we have the back end fake as it is right now and it is is responsible for getting all the page date all the page objects and for giving them to the page admin the page admin then iterates over every page and for each page it creates a page component that page component says if i'm editing show the editor else show the list item and when the editor's text inputs change, then it's calling a function all the way back up in page, which is these fields have changed. And then that calls a function all the way up in page admin, which says, okay, update this page. I've got an ID, I've got a field I want to update, I've got a value I want to update. Now, we've done quite a lot of code, and I, I kind of don't want to stop here because I'm having a lot of fun. But we've done a lot of code, and I actually want to put this online somewhere. So I'll go to GitHub, and I'll make a repo for this. And if you uh, would like to look through the code, because maybe I've gone too fast, and I've or I've neglected some important details for this, um, I'll say React CMS. I'll put this code in a repo, and you can get the code there. So this is github.com forward slash assert Chris forward slash react CMS and I'll put a link in chat because I can do that and you can't Mr. Mod. Okay, so let's rmrf.git because that's the clone we had. Git init, git promote, and origin. Oops. Copy to clipboard. Git remote add origin. There we go. Okay, we have to make a git ignore file. Oops, we already have one. 
Oh yeah, right there. Okay, no modules. That's exactly what I wanted to put there. <laughs> uh, initial commit. I don't think I want to go much further than that because um, it's actually been a huge info dump and if you're interested in getting the structure working then uh, yeah then you probably it's probably a good time to go over this stuff and just have a look right so uh, running running Where's that repo? Git clone that. CD React CMS. NPM install. NPM install dash G serve. NPM serve. You did. <laughs> How did it read me? Okay. Yes, so it would be a good time now, I think, if you're interested in the structure of this and you want to go through it, get it running on your local machine, maybe toy around with the examples. You clone this repo. Where's the readme? Readme. Readme. You clone this repo. Uh, you install its dependencies. Um, npm install global serve. This this downloads uh, an application that you can just type serve in the directory. In fact, I don't even think it's npm serve. I think it's just serve. Okay, it's just serve. So when you run this command, npm install global serve, it installs this application that you can just type serve and in the current directory you are in, it will create a static file server. So you can go, you put that in your browser, 127.0.0.1, um, colon 3000, or whatever port it says. You go into the examples folder, and you will see this index page that we've been working in. You'll be able to mess around with it. You'll also have to install the dependencies for this project, because those aren't included in the repo. Does that make sense? Are there any questions on that? Yes? No? This has all the classes we've been working through. It's got a bit of extra stuff and I think we'll continue uh, I think we'll continue on this tomorrow or maybe we'll look at retrofitting uh, an Eris backend on top of this. Or maybe we'll just do Eris stuff like build up towards doing WebSockets so that we can connect them later on in the week. Um, yeah. Hold on a second. I'm loading something that's taking very long to load. Okay, so um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. If you've uh, enjoyed this, like, look through that code if you want to get a better handle on the structure. And um, I'll be back here tomorrow, uh, an hour and a half ago, your time. <laughs> I'll be here. And then we'll do some PHP stuff or we'll do some WebSocket stuff. It'll be fun. We'll just do a lot of fun stuff. Um, if you want notifications of when the stream goes up, then you can sub on Twitch or follow or favorite or whatever it's called. Um, and ask me questions on Twitter as well. Uh, if you are going through the code and you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, yeah, thank you very much for being here. Sorry it went on a bit long. I hope that's okay.